Dancing with Miss Beck. I'm so excited that you are here watching my video with me. Thank you very much. Today we're going to be doing a pretty cool project um, with some Legos and a piece of paper and possibly some stamps or some markers. It's going to be super simple with things you already have, uh, but we're gonna make some pretty neat and creative art. So stick around, check out the video. I can't wait for you to see it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need to find are some Legos or blocks of some sort that maybe have a design on them because um, we're gonna use them in the project. Next, you're gonna need to find some paper or something that you can stamp your project on. Now, you're also going to need some stamps of some sort. It doesn't really matter what color, um, but if you don't happen to have stamps available, you can always use either markers, or if you happen to have some paint at home, you could also use paint for this project as well. After you've gotten your supplies, this is the time where you get to decide whether you're going to have your paper face horizontally or vertically. You could also choose to cut your paper in half so that you have a smaller surface to work with or you can choose to use the whole entire paper. When you get your Legos or blocks or whatever you chose, you want to make sure that first of all they have a texture kind of on them or a shape and you also want them to be different sizes so that your stamping process won't all look the same. I really tried to get a variety of different sizes and shapes because then you're going to be able to make lots of different shapes on your paper. Now, the first step in this process is to choose one block or Lego and to press it firmly onto the ink. I had to press it a few times because it was the first time sticking this Lego on the ink and then immediately press it down exactly where you want it on the paper and lift up. If you're using markers or paint, you will just take that marker or the paint and put it along the edge of the Lego before you lay it down. I at first was kind of going freely and then just choosing a new block when I wanted to. I also tried to use the top side of the Lego to kind of make a design. It didn't really turn out that great, but the rest of my Legos, I was pretty satisfied with how they turned out. You'll want to be careful though not to get the ink onto the table surface that you're working on, so be careful not to place those Legos onto the table, but rather either place them on your paper or on a newspaper next to it. The shape or design or object that you make with the Legos and the stamps are completely up to you. So you can see here Miss Beck kind of tried to make a castle um, in the end, but this is truly where your creativity gets to flow. There's not really a right or wrong way to put the shapes together. Once I was done stamping, I chose a couple different crayons that I was going to color my piece with. Now again, this is something where it's very free, you don't have to color a specific color, but I kind of tried to go with a color scheme. stamping part of my project was colored with crayons, I decided to color the background because then it would make the whole picture look more full. So I started with kind of making my horizon line where the ground meets the sky and then you'll see I later went into the sky and even made a sun. so many different variations of this project and I truly am excited to see 
how you decide to take this idea and turn it into your own. So don't feel like you have to do something a certain way. Um, make sure to always express your creativity because that's what's really important. so much for checking out my video as you can see there's so many different variations that you could do with that project so I would love to hear what you end up using down in the comments if you want to leave some feedback or if you know of a specific object or something in your house that you want us to turn into art um, we're also gonna possibly check that out as well so let me know in the comments so that we can see if we can make a project like that um, you are also more than welcome um, to give my video a, a like or a thumbs up and also remember if you like what you see subscribe down below so that Miss Beck can keep making content like this. So thank you very much and have a good rest of your day. videos.